So next up, let's introduce a couple of special circles. So first one would be the center at the origin. Now when I say center is at the origin, I mean that that ordered pair HK that I referred to earlier is actually the ordered pair 0, 0. So we would wind up with an x minus 0 quantity squared and a y minus 0 quantity squared, but instead of saying um, minus 0 in both of those cases, we'll just refer to it as this. This is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. And it looks an awful lot like the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem uses different variables, but it's still this thing squared plus this thing squared is equal to this thing squared. Um, they are very closely related to each other. So when you have a circle whose center is at the origin, generally draw the circle first, x-axis, y-axis, that'll put the center right at the uh, origin right there. Next one is going to be where the center is at the origin and the radius is equal to 1. This is a circle that's going to come up a lot later on in the semester. It does have a special name. Anytime the number 1 shows up in the mathematical world, we tend to see the word unit associated with that. This one's referred to as the unit circle, and it has the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. We would draw it the exact same way that we drew this one up here. 